forgiven us. That was the first form of forgiveness. And the second one is that God expects us to forgive others just as we have been forgiven. We reminded ourselves that God does not remember our sins. And as far as the east is from the west, so as God set apart our sins from us. We also saw that God gives us a fresh beginning when He forgives our sins. We also saw that we have a condition to meet, and that is confession, so as to have our sins forgiven. We saw that when we are in forgive, when we are living in, a, in forgiveness and when we have been forgiven by God, we enter into a relationship with our Father. God becomes our father and we become his children. We also saw that we have fellowship with God when we are forgiven. And that fellowship we say can be forgiven or rather can be broken when there is sin in our lives. So we saw it is important that we live a life of asking for forgiveness, which is confessing our sins on day to day basis before our Father. We can say that it is a terrible situation or a terrible feeling when we are out of a relationship with our Father. No, when we are out of fellowship with our father. Remember we say that our relationship, father, children relationship cannot be offended or cannot be broken by sin. But it it can be broken by living in sin. Because it will interfere with our fellowship with him and the Father. And when we do not have a direct communication with our Father as we ought to have, then this intimate closeness is tampered with by sin and affected the relationship of a father and a son. We say out of fellowship with God can be because of unforgiving others. It creates bitterness in our hearts. We start living in pride. And we defend our minds, we defend our conscience that whatever we are doing is what is supposed to be done. And when the Holy Spirit will dwell, will dwell us, speaks to us of a wrong that we have done, we cannot come to our consensus with Him and with the Word of God because of the pride that we have grown in our hearts. So we say in living in unforgiveness, then we ought to calm down, be repentant, confess our sin, and have the Holy Spirit prompt us of our doings. Never let your mind argue with the Spirit of God when you are in a state of sin. Agree with your spirit and agree with the word of God. First John chapter 1, verse 9. First John chapter 1, verse 9. 
nine. It has been our main test in talking about of being forgiven by God. And that is where we reach, and I want us to pick it from that. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just. And will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. And we have been told briefly to look at this word, confess. This word in Greek is homologe. That was okay. If it is a tapu kwa u. Omolojeo means to say the same thing. Omolojeo kiti maani sha kuwe toki nuki wingi. Omo same. Omo of same. Same. Oki nuki. Oki nuki. Lojeo means speak. Lojeo wana ni wa yoye pone na. When the spirit says you are wrong. And God's word is right. Your mind and your mouth need to agree. When you say the same thing to the Father that God's word and the Spirit says, that is homologeo. And that is confessing your sin. What are we saying? You just say the same thing because the word of God will always tell you when you have gone wrong. For instance, if I say to you, I am a born again Christian and I, I go against my brother's wishes. I have offended him in a way or another. And he has presented me. So you find that there will be a disconnect between me and my brother. We are no longer living in love. The Bible teaches us as brothers and sisters to love one another. If an unbeliever offends me, as much as he is not born again, I am not going to take it against him and live in the offense again against that which I have done offending him. I will go back to the word of God. It says, Love your enemies and pray for them. So to live in an state of being forgiven okay, and to live in a state of for, for confessing my sin day in day out I'll go to my father and say that same thing that the word was going I'll say the same thing father I have offended you in this way I have wronged brother so and so. He feels offended for what I have done to him. And I have no right to continue living in condemning him for having him condemned me. The Bible commands me to love what commands us to love one another. I have sinned against you. Even though this and this has happened, I stand in the wrong. I, I hindered my brother, I hindered my fellowship with my brother. And therefore I confess the sin of hatred to you, my God. Because I want to live. So you are saying the same thing. That the one of God has built you against. The Bible, uh, of, uh, the Bible teaches us to love and not to hate. So that is what it is 
say or it means by confessing. So if God forgives you, he will forgive you completely for the grudge and for the sin that you have offended your brother with. And the fellowship with you and God is not. I'm making an appeal to all of us that we shouldn't live in a life of unforgiveness. It will harm us, it, will, it is dangerous for us. And that brings us now to the second part. God wants you to forgive even as He forgives. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, and my brother can preach. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving each other. Just as in Christ God forgave you. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3 verse 7. My brother in the tondo, we and you were man, I had then a endra. If we came for in a in a jack, we were near tea. We need you, we need you, who miss you, who miss the Omako Longi, Napweka near any of our enemy, every one would open a river and a pundo. Now, we are told to we were more key in a menu, a kai or Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly love, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. If we came God in a day, that we were near Tay, we need you, na miss you. When the Bible talks about the heart of a believer, it is talking about your character as a Christian. It is where the Holy Spirit of God endures. So it is not that hard that the biology teacher told, told us sometimes. So that spiritual heart needs to be closed. In that <laughs> it should be clothed with this thing. <coughs> Compassion. Kindness. We live you. Humility. Nameless. Patience. All these five things. If you bear them in your heart, you will be able to forgive. Okay, do what you want to care. Whatever grievance that you have against one another, and you'll be able to forgive easily just as the Father has forgiven you. Maybe you should pause and think. In a heart, pause and think. In a heart, are close with compassion. Kindness. We need you. Humility. Oh. And definite and patience. Oh, miss, and oh, miss. Oh, the first thing that you may ask yourself is what is it that I did that has caused him or her to offend me? No, 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 people, you put it up, and it's okay. You didn't make it, and I'm one of our party. Then you go to another state. Now we do know you gain that you will feel pity, but you will have kindness on the both of you. Then we'll go another step out of humility. Now 
and, and out of tenderness and out of patience be patient with me even, even when I have wronged you and living out of compassion and kindness and instead of waiting for me to come and say sorry you will even feel sorry for me and forgive me even before you have asked for that because we were we be with these five fruits of the Holy Ghost. I don't have to that point you may tell me that this are characteristic uh, that it takes a mature believer to forgive without carrying grief without carrying offenses. No, no, no. It takes a born again Christian. Full of the Holy Ghost. And when I talk of this field of the Holy Spirit, he is the Spirit of God who resides in you from that very moment when you say, I am a sinner, Lord, forgive me. Such that even that time when you experience the forgiveness of God and the light person that you felt at forgiveness at that has been forgiven at that particular time. So you'll be able to apply the same kind of weight lifting, taking off patterns of others from your heart. Therefore, you will live a life of a believer. One of the qualifications to be to experience a life of a believer is forgiving others just as Christ forgave So we say that your father does not remember your past mistakes. Then why should you keep remembering the mistakes of others? Some, some, we, we were taught sometimes. Or you will even say it yourself even up this day. I'll forgive, but I'll never forget. There is no forgiveness in that kind of a statement. If I say I've forgiven you of everything that you have offended me with. Then after forgiving you, I meet with my brother Eric. And I start not even meeting, before we come to meeting him. In my mind, I am forgiven that nothing against you. Then in the second minute I was and see. I am not forgiven. I am not forgiven you, my brother, my sister. Because I am still counting it on you. Even if we meet and shake hands and laugh. Or even if we meet and hug each other. I am still counting my mind, I still remember. That which you did against me on twice. I have not yet reached forgiveness. Can you pause and think? Do you have a crush with anyone? Are you still holding resentment and remembering the heart? You still look at me and say, so that they may not hurt me one more time. Once beaten, twice shy. That is not biblical. The Holy Spirit has a way of dealing with this. Until you are 
important everything. That even if your mind will try to come back. You still don't remember the whole scenario. You still do not want to go to that point how you felt when you got the hat. And if you don't release yourself to forgiving others in that style of forgiving and forgetting. If you still remember, you are preparing a fertile ground for bitterness. So to completely forgive means give them a fresh start. Tell your heart, I know they can do better than what they have done. Still remember that yesterday and before they had you, they were still not good people that you used to be. Yes, and I can know that I'm not going to be able to do better than what they have done. Still remember that yesterday and before they had you, they were still not good people that you used to be. Yes, and I can know that I'm not going to be able to do better than what they have done. And never discuss the matter again. So as I wanted to point out earlier, I found that I was not going to be able to do better than what they have done. Yes, and I can know that I'm not going to be able to do better than what they have done. I'll forgive them you. And then I move and tell Eric. And I move and tell Eric. And I move and tell Eric. I move and tell Eric. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Settle the matter between you and God. Stop it and involving the dad. But they have to be involved. He will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the dad part will be introduced. Yes, he will see when the with kindness, na umesio, compassion, change, humility, uhu, patience, na kumi anesia. And that will cause you to forgive and forget. No lusu katuma uwekea na kulo. So you never allow yourself to dwell. Do not allow your mind to dwell in the matter. Do not let this one you attack to the end of what you never do. And this person brings the matter to your remembrance. Na kila sata ni akaya cho lusu zinu wali di kano aku. Because you will still do it. If we do okay for you. Remind him that all is forgiven and forgotten. Muli di kani kana lusu andeni muweke no kola. And tell him to live in the name of Jesus. Na kumi ya kumi ya ya au mesi pa ni ya Yesu. I'm telling. Forgiving and forgetting. So anyone who at times bring it before you, he will try to display the heart before you. He will try to display the heart before you. He will try to display the heart before you. He will try to display the heart before you. He will try to display the heart before you. He will try to display the heart before you. He will try to display the heart before you. And therefore, leave my mind. In Jesus' holy name. And when you have commanded him to live in Jesus' name, it will never reach your heart. Amen. 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 How often should we forgive? If I can ask you, I know you are Bible scholar. How often should we forgive? Matthew 18. 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 Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? He thought to himself, I can forgive him. He can forgive him. He can forgive him. He can forgive him. Up to seven times. According to Peter, seven times was a great forgiveness. But when he took Jesus' answer, I tell you, not seven times. Not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Jesus said, seventy-seven times. Seventy-seven times. 
7 mwanza miongo mwanza Bana afanya hesabu katikati yetu Alama ya kama 7 na meke How many times are those Ni mabinda 490 times a day Maana ana na miongo kenda maike ya maki la 490 times Mala mana na na meongo ke na ma kweke ya kila mundo na. Don't don't let anyone else treat you a different dog. Dokea tiki na mundo ge obunde si obunde si ongi. Four hundred and ninety times a day. Mana mana na na meongo ke na ma kweke ya kila mundo na. And who is that who has the capability of being hurt four hundred and ninety times? Na wewe mundo si na otoni si wa kubiki ya kukuwa saka na kuto lango malasi ma individu no. Four hundred and ninety. Mala mana na na miongo kenda. I forgive Eunice. Na eke a Eunice. Four hundred and ninety times Eunice comes again. Mala mana na na miongo kenda Eunice ya koka i. Hurt me the same day. Aka viki a na mungo se. Four hundred and ninety times in the same day. Mala ana na miongo kenda o mude no way. It is impossible. Undo sundo toneka. And even if we wait times the number of people in the church. And allow ourselves just open our hearts for being hurt. We will still have some balance for forgiveness. Because I know in one Sunday I cannot have ten people wrong me at the same time. I know in a given day. Ten people in the village cannot hurt me anything. So how what is the secret behind forgiving four hundred and ninety times a day? Is preparing my heart to forgive even before I have wrong. It is not about counting. No. It is telling my heart. I once sinned against God. My own creator. And he lives forgiving me day in, day out. So that my fellowship with him is held strong. Therefore, I have left my heart. Be prepared to forgive others as much as they wrong me. Just telling my heart, people are there to hurt others. You are with us angels. We are not we are not angels, dear brothers and sisters. We will wrong each other. I will talk to a Francis in a manner that does not defeat a man and a woman, and you look at me and Mundomoko. Francis, the you are a Christian and a Yeah, respect my man woman. Hello. Or do I live in my own world? Is that how life is for each one of us? And if it is like that, I have a lifestyle as a Christian. And my lifestyle as a Christian is that I am true, it is true as, as a woman with the title of a woman. With the title of a woman. I will respect men, I will respect God, I will respect elderly men, I will respect the youth, I will respect children. And therefore, as a God-fearing woman, I will live in humility, and those that I offend, I will tell them I am sorry, I did not intend to. And before it comes to that, if they have offended me, my heart will enclass day in, day out. I am saying if the even if it is not them coming to even if it is not me going to ask them for forgiveness before they come 
to me to ask for forgiveness as a godly woman. Matokite kulani kuite uweke wa tabundu muka ukite ngai. As a godly youth. Tabundu wa muika ukite ngai. As a godly man. Na tabundu wa ngai. You cause a few in your heart that I have wronged so and so I need to be sorry. Uka binde sadeni angoa ya kuno ya sene mubete isenga niya na ni kuweke ya uwekeo. Kwa sababu hata kabila watu wa wata kukwabio mwema kwa se. Ni kuiti wanota maa utapita vite na lanka na noma vite isi. The Holy Spirit witness this is within you. Before you meet them and tell you, he will say no name yet. He will tell us. Muta koma nita na kame ya kana you spoke bitterly about me. The spirit of God. Beba mude wa nkai. Who captured the scenario for you? Aka ukwati ali usoyu. That is where confess confess confession is coming in. Na kuni bobe na kumbola. And before they come to you to ask forgiveness. Na matokita bala uwe makuiti. Tell them they are forgiven. Men or my kete. For God in your place of prayer. Be one day, but don't ever give up prayer. And this needs no time for sentiment because if you go down, 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 it is thirty times an hour. Ni pindi wa kundo sumi diki ya kwe chema na wa kuiba na udile kunondo wa zeya wide matamio kwe tatu istai. How many hours a day in a day? Twenty-four. So thirty times an hour. A day will end before you have forgiven all the people. But as long as you are fresh, that the following day. You can see what I'm talking about. The man from the north who was here, no one could not hear. If you go to the smallest unit, it is one every two minutes. Ni kuwekea datika patla datika ido kuwekea ebina yemo. Do we have any reason? To enacte to me. To that point. To live a life of unforgiveness and all our sisters and brothers. God has some very practical and important reasons why you should need, why you need to forgive. Gai ya na yutu misi moana ni kwa ida wa kuweke. If a man does not honor his wife or he holds grudges against her, his prayers will be hindered. Tena mundo momenta kadiki ya na kubiki ya kumunenge ya mukawa na yona kwa ya seke yike wika. If a man does not honor his wife or he holds grudges, does not forgive her. Tena mundo momenta kadiki ya na kumunenge ya mukanda ya kana kwa ya makumweke ya. First Peter chapter three verse seven. His prayers will never be heard. Do you see why we have an an answered prayer for the men? It is because of the grudges you have with your wife. So before you go to the place of prayer, give your married man. Here it does not talk about being born again. I want to address all men who have wives at home. If you ever have a need that you want to present before God, know that God will never reach out unto it. Give you have grudges with your wife. So sort it first. And open doors. You as a man sort it out first. Then receive the answer to your prayer. May the Lord help men. May the Lord help husbands. Amelie has made a tearful countenance. Ukandika hapo first Peter chapter 3 verse 7. Petele lo mape kidogo. First Peter chapter 3 verse 7 you find that verse which says you sort out your issues with your wife first before you go on before God in prayer is a married man. No ile ya mustadi sio kwa serikia ina upate ya na mkao akuta hata mabata mako kula kwenye kai. A merry heart make a tearful countenance. But by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. Proverbs 15, 13. A merry heart maketh a tearful countenance. 
But by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is, pro- is broken. And the broken spirit can you cannot have a merry heart and have an unforgiving attitude at the same time. A person who is happy. A person, a person with a tearful heart. Will not spend time in unforgiveness. In unforgiveness. Because he does he or she doesn't want his happiness. Being tempered with. Because when the spirit is broken, there is sorrow of heart. When you are at, when you are not at peace with someone, bitterness may arise towards that person. And failure to seek forgiveness or over forgiveness can also cause bitterness. And as a result of bitterness is a broken spirit. Now, as a result of bitterness is a broken spirit. A broken spirit can be defined as being wounded in some way from words or deeds that were not appropriate. When you hold on to resentment rather than instantly forgiving, resentment festers and grows within you. And you will always walk in a broken spirit. Broken spirit will cause you to be sick. A broken spirit will cause high blood pressure. A broken spirit will make you not have a healthy relationship with others. And with God. And that is the close of our teaching today. God giving us another opportunity will continue. And we'll be able to close on forgiveness. My brother and my sister. If you have ever experienced bitterness in your heart, you tell me it is not sweet. While I wait now, teacher, there is that gold blunder. If it is if it acts to split and pour on your meat, that is not a broken spirit. That meat becomes it is not edible. It is bitter. It is bitter. With a life of bitterness, will, a life of bitterness will lead you to unforgiveness. Broken relationships. Now, what are you Both with God and with men and God. And a bitterness can also lead you. To sickness. And we we'll pick up from there. Find the Akuma. The expiring God and Allah. May we arise for praise. May we praise and worship to God. Let us stand in the presence of God. Let us respond to that word this morning. Release every kind of bitterness that may have cropped into your heart. Release the unforgiveness that might have cropped into your heart. Think of a person who has hurt you a long time or now. Or even they may have kept see or wronging you day in, day out. Think about it. It does not cost you a thing to forgive them. But living in life of forgiving them all through, 
brings a lot of benefits in your life. Father, here we come in your presence. We confess any sin of unforgiveness. Have your way to us. We release that heart. We release that bitterness. Holy Spirit of God. Search our hearts this morning. See if there is any sin of unforgiveness in us. And reveal each one. We are faithful to confess it even now. Father, forgive us for holding it a little longer in our hearts. We release them that have hurt us. We forgive them. We do not count it against them. Father, forgive us. Even as we forgive them this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you.